Hi, I'm Noah Wilson from My Hollywood TV, and today for our Skype sessions, we're joined with musician Ryland James. What's up, Ryland? Hey, how's it going? It's great to have you on. Thank you. So, how have you been? Really good. Lots of stuff going on. <laughs> good. When you were growing up in Deseronto, uh, mm -hmm. like, how did you get started in music? What made you want to pursue a career in the music business? I think when I was about 10 years old, um, there was this kid who was singing Who's Loving You by the Jackson 5 on Britain's Got Talent. Uh -huh. And for some reason, I wanted to sing like him. He was around my age. And um, so I, I just sang the song uh, for my grandma and my mom at the time. Mm -hmm. They heard it and they said, you know, that sounds great. You, you actually have a gift at singing. So um, I just kind of took it from there and, and took that encouragement and started performing, you know, locally and started performing at competitions and I started posting covers on my YouTube channel because I think Justin Bieber had just been discovered at the time there so mm -hmm. um, yeah that's that's kind of where it all started and I started to take it seriously so it's been about eight years now that I've been doing it but it's been it's been a fun ride. Nice and talking about Bieber he's from Canada yep. Sean Mendez is from Canada yep. you're from Canada look you're gonna be the next big Canadian singer so you know Hopefully, it's something that's, about that's the goal it's something about Canada luck. I mean, you know, these Canadians just, they know how to sing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Something. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, has people ever told you before that you um, can sing like Shawn Mendes or you favor him in a way? Because personally, I think when I was coming on here, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to be talking to Shawn Mendes' secretly twin or brother. <laughs> so, yeah. I've, I've definitely got I've definitely gotten the comparisons before, and I, honestly, all I can say is um, it's definitely it's flattering because he's ah. he's such a talented talented guy, and so um, yeah, I think it's I think it's flattering, for sure. Yeah, and uh, to, uh, and he tweeted you, which I thought was really cool. So, you know, yeah. you did a you did a cover song, which you've did a couple of cover songs to uh, Mr. Mendez. I have. Uh, you did yeah. Mercy. Um, and you know many more songs, but Mercy was one one of the biggest ones that really got a lot of attention from your YouTube channel. And right. um, Sean Mendez, he did tweet you. He tweeted you, dude. <laughs> checked out some of your covers. Keep it up, man. Sounds great. What would it be like if Sean Mendez were to ask you to go on tour with him? That would be fantastic. Honestly, that would be such a, such an amazing opportunity. I think um, he performs all over the world and he brings out a really really great crowd and he has a great mm -hmm. fan base so I think it would be really cool to perform you know in that world for sure it would be pretty hilarious to see you both perform because then people would be coming up running to you not only thinking you were Shawn Mendes but like oh my god look there's, <laughs> there's Shawn then the, you turn around like no I'm I'm Ryland I'm the opening yeah, act right now. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right so your single good to you is out yes. I think that's uh, an incredible song. I really like it, really jammy. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I jammed out to it today before I, you know, we started this interview. So, uh, but Thanks, really man. great song. So, tell me a little bit about what you're trying to express to your fans. What are you trying? What is the message that you're trying to get across um, from this song? Yeah. So, good to you. I think I wrote it back at the beginning of December last year. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember I was at the height of songwriting frustration. We'd been writing for a couple months at the time. And I wasn't really sure, you know, what direction I wanted to go in with music. We'd tried some things, but I was just really frustrated with it. And um, I think I went in the studio on the third day with Locals Only Sound, is who I wrote it with. And we went in on the third day. And this song, they played me an idea. Um, and I just knew right away that it was the direction that I wanted to go in with my music. And so the song just sort of poured out onto the page within an hour or two and, and we had a, a demo of it done. Um, so I think what it means to me is, you know, in the, in the verses it talks about being in this difficult place, um, being in pain, and then in the chorus it talks about coming out of that, um, mm -hmm. whether that be a person or, you know, for me it could be music, for whatever it is that brings you out of that place. You talk about, you know, I'll be good to you because you were good to me and brought me out of that place. So that's just yeah, it's a simple, simple meaning, but means a lot, I think. 
I like it. I like it a lot. And that's what I like about musicians as well is when they write um, about things that has happened in their life or something that, uh, you know, can happen to others in their lives. So that's, yeah. Okay. So something very awesome to hear is you did like a modeling photo shoot for, um, it, it, uh, for a popular clothing company called Roots. Roots. Yeah. Roots. I'm going to dig up the roots. roots. I'm yeah. just, <laughs> roots. That's a really cool name. I'm like, gosh. Look, I should have thought of Roots. But no, yeah, Roots has yeah. actually been around since 1973 and is a very popular clothing company in Canada. Sure. So it's a Canada sure. clothing company. Yep. Um, you also performed and you were a part of their Sweat Style Artist event, right? Yep, Sweat Style campaign. How did you get involved in this? I, I mean, I think it's great. Yeah, so last year, um, a couple other Canadian artists that I really look up to, they, they did the campaign, Scott Hellman, Tyler Shaw, and Ruth mm -hmm. B., and I remember, I remember seeing seeing all of their pictures around Toronto and around mm -hmm. different cities, and and wishing that I could do that. So then this year, my manager is I have the same manager as Tyler Shaw, um, and he just phoned me one day and told me, you know, I got you this Roots campaign this year. And so obviously it was I was I was very excited about that. And um, yeah, it was it was just a very simple thing how it came around, but it's it's been really crazy and, and really fun doing it. You know, the event, it looked very nice because the, if you go to Root's YouTube page, you'll see Ryland performing on the, at the event. So what can we expect from you uh, uh, coming up? Is there any new things, new projects? You did Root's, you have your new single out. Is there going to be an EP to come? What's right. new? So I've I've been writing I've been writing for over a year now. So we've got lots of lots of material that I have. Um, it's just deciding, you know, which ones kind of go on the album, and if we need to write a, a little more stuff. So I I can I guess say I have I have maybe a song coming out really soon within you know by the end of the year. So that that could be that could be something. Um, and I have I have some shows coming up I think. In different places but mm -hmm. yeah I, I don't I don't know too much right now I don't know how much I can say but yeah for sure some stuff coming up <laughs> it's coming soon you guys he might have a song he might not you know <laughs> yeah maybe maybe not who knows yeah you, you're gonna have to stay tuned I can't stop this feelings taking over me Okay, so I want to um, just ask you some random questions uh, that maybe your fans don't know about you, and, cool. and maybe they're gonna learn today from this Skype session. Yeah, with let's you. do it. All right. Okay. So, um, favorite food? Um, who I have, I have two favorite foods. I, I love Mexican food, and I love um, this. It's really weird, calamari. It's it's like squid. <laughs> what is that? It sounds like you said. It's, it, I don't know what it did, but it made. When you said that word, it made me think of slime. I'm like, what the? What yeah, is that? Some, some might think it's slime. It's, it's just it's squid. That's that's what it is. It's but it's it's really good. And it's it made me right. think of Squidward from SpongeBob. All right, okay, yeah, that's very yeah. cool. Uh, favorite pet? Oh, I have a dog, so probably a dog. But favorite music besides yours, but. Um, anything soul and R and B. I, I really like. Um, Daniel Caesar right now. He's another Canadian artist. He's also in the Roots campaign. Okay. He's he's awesome. Favorite candy? Oh, sour candy. Probably Sour Patch Kids. Oh, okay. I yeah. like those two. Those are really good. Those are Skittles are my favorite. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, favorite holiday? Uh, Christmas. 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 Yeah. Good. I'm glad you said that. People say, oh, Halloween. You know, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am the devil. Halloween is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, nothing's wrong with Halloween, but you know. No, but, oh, yeah, Halloween. they're both great. Like, I love, but, but Christmas a little more. Uh, Ryland, thank you so much for joining us on our uh, Skype session on Ho I Hollywood yeah. TV. It was a blast having you on. Uh, Thanks for having me. Plug out your social media so people can continue to keep up with you. Sure. Uh, Instagram is Ryland James Music. My Twitter is Ryland James One. Snapchat, I think, is Ryland Clark ninety nine. Uh, YouTube is just Ryland James, and I think I think that's it. And my website, um, I don't know if it's up right now, but RylanJamesMusic.com, if it's there. Uh, yeah. Type it in down below. <laughs> Everyone yep. just, you know, hit the, the keyboard and type it in, but don't do it right now. You know, do it <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for joining me. And um, me. Uh, Mr. Mendez, number two, enjoy <laughs> the rest of your day, and uh, we hope you'll come back and join us again very soon.
Sure. Thanks so much. All right. Bye. See you later.